Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back, dear students. <clears throat> Up till now, we have been developing uh, a basic library for our character LCD. And uh, just to recap, we had studied all the basic uh, structure and commands and how the internal registers they work. Then we tested it using the uh, standard dip switches and sending the commands manually and then we made a complete library <coughs> for operating it in the 8 bits mode. We opted this 8 bit mode only because it was easier to understand and uh, learn the things this way. Otherwise this 8 bit mode is not usually the preferred one because it consumes more IO lines which are very precious in most of the microcontroller projects. So today we will uh, port the same library in which most of the work has been done and we will convert this library into a 4 bit mode library which is more uh, practical and more uh, usable. Uh, in your projects. So <clears throat> in 8 bits mode, uh, if you look at this lab, uh, LCD, it uses only the higher 4 bits, bit 4, 5, 6 and 7. You can use only these 4, 5 bits, 4 bits and not these uh, lower bits. So let's uh, rather we instead of uh, deleting these uh, nodes because we might need them later on we just unlink them so we are unlinking these two uh, these io blinds and right now we have <clears throat> pa4 5 6 and 7 connected to the higher order four bits of the lcd and PA8 and 9, let it be like that, connected to the <coughs> RS and enable pins of the LCD. Now, since most of the data, like your characters, like if you want to send ASCII data 65 or ASCII data 66, which is letter B, these are 8-bit letters. So when you send this let, these data, 8 bits of data on this 4-bit uh, mode, what you do is you break the data into two halves. One is the upper nibble, which is the upper four bits of your data. And then are the lower four bits, lower nibble, lower four bits of data. So first you extract the upper four bits and then you send it to these four lines and um, toggle the enable pin. And then you send the lower four bits to these four, uh, these, uh, uh, lines and then you toggle toggle the enable pin so that means you have to send the data in two chunks four or four bits each instead of in in one chunk while in eight bit mode we were using only the eight bits set and and sending it to the um, uh, lcd so that is the only difference the second difference would be in the initialization commands in the initialization commands um, we used to to write this uh, mm, uh, right let me see these are the initialization commands so the commands will be the same process will be the same however these commands will be different because 0x38 we used to send first 0x30 we used to send for uh, 8 bits mode now you will send 0x02 which uh, uh, does not uh, set this uh, uh, 8 bit mode bin bit and this number becomes 0x02. So you send this 0x02 to set the 4 bit mode and rest of the things are same. Uh, and if we look at the project now, so definitely now this time we don't need these 8 pins. We, it was initially an 8 bits uh, uh, array. And now we are we going to use it 4 bits and so we don't need that 8-bit array. So we made this LCD data pin as a 4-bit array. 
and the rest of the things are the same lcd port is the pointer to the uh, structure which is pointing to the port which are on which the lcd is connected lcd rs pin is a 16 bit number and lcd enable pin is a 16 bit number these are basically the masks to the pin uh, on which the uh, uh, pin number of this iu port <clears throat> then in our lcd setup program which is uh, i have used the same commands i have not changed them because uh, if you want to use the 8-bit mode you, you don't have to learn the commands again uh, and in the 8-bit and 4-bit mode both the commands are the same and the lcd setup again it accepts a port number and the rs pin just like in our previous example and enable pin and then instead of the eight data bits we are sending d4 d5 d6 d7 and d8 d7 so these are four bits of data uh, that are connected to the uh, data pins of uh, your lcd and when these data are passed you assign those to the specific internal uh, uh, variables port is assigned port which is passed on the setup is set up to the lcd port and this is to rs to the rs pin and so on so once these pins have been set up the lcd enable function is the same as in the 8-bit mode that you toggle the lcd enable pin nothing special in it and the only difference is in this lcd write command so in lcd write command we have actually written a, uh, another another function which is called lcd write 4 bit so this function is new in in this 4 bit library in which we pass the 8 bit data and we assume the data is passed in, in this format like uh, we send upper 4 bits as zeros and lower 4 bits will actually contain your data and these data can be upper 4 bits and up and lower 4 bits they will be formatted to the lower 4 bits so in these when you 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 are getting data in this function we are sure that 4 bits which we are interested are located in the lower 4 bits so <clears throat> instead of the loop from 0 to 5 to 8th bit we have set the loop from 0 to 4th bit uh, this zero, this one, two, and third bit, and fourth bit. And for with each bit, we test it whether it is one or zero. If it is one, we set the corresponding LCD pin to uh, logic one. And if it is zero, we set the corresponding LCD bit to uh, zero. And after setting these four bits, which you can be either upper nibble or lower nibble we do the enable uh, uh, command now what we have done in this function so you will be call, calling this lcd write within eight bits of data so first we want to send the higher four bits so we shift the data to write by four bits so in doing so the upper four bits will come into the lower four bit position and that will be passed to the lcd write function after doing that we want to send the lower four bits and we want to turn all the higher four bits to zero so we end this that data with 0x 0f so 0x 0f is 1 1 1 1 so lower four bits will remain uh, whatever have been set and the upper uh, four bits will become zero and that's it and rest of the program will be the same as we have uh, discussed in 8 bits mode so in the main program this time what we'll do we will have this lcd4h function uh, include file and lcd4 c file so in our main program instead of including the lcd8 we will include this lcd4.x so remember because the function names are the same uh, in both lcd8 and lcd4 uh, pro, uh, files so 
include one of these don't include both because this will conflict the uh, function names and then in initialization we just call the lcd setup with gpio a is the port pin pin 8 is the rs pin pin 9 is the enable pin and then is the 4 5 and 6 and 7 are the data pins and then we call the lcd init and then we send the lcd command like lcd clear and then you can send the data lcd string hello world so the same thing everything is same almost same like we used in the uh, four bit mode uh, eight bits mode so let's compile this program build this program and i hope there are no errors and now we test this program on our simulator we have already set the file name on this and uh, let's uh, shift the screen a little bit higher so yes now it's clear and you can see here the message hello world so let's try changing the message in case you might be wondering uh, Let it be Microtronics and project, build project and here is, you can see Microtronics. So the program is working fine, library is working fine. That means now you can use uh, this 4-bit library with your LCD if you are using the microcontroller with the uh, uh, the LCD in 4 bits mode. So in this tutorial um, uh, with this uh, I finished this uh, GPIO part of this STM32 learning in which we have just used the GPIO commands and, and, even, and even in those only one command that, that is the GPIO, uh, the whole write command. Uh, and we have made an entire library, uh, just like 8 bits library, you can make it a separate library of files and you can make the, uh, uh, the .a file for distribution, etc, etc, all those things are the same. In this uh, demonstration, I just wanted to show you how you can write the 4 bits library. Uh, uh, I'll convert the same 8 bits library to the 4 bits library. So I hope uh, you would have enjoyed it. And if there are any comments or some words of appreciation, they are, will be really appreciated. And because it is the appreciation and feedback by you people that uh, gives more uh, stimulus and that gives more spark to uh, make more tutorials. Thank you very much. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.